God, it's a black person on television. Well, not really television, but it's the internet. Same difference. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Gerard Lee, coming to you live on a Wednesday. Um, I'm here to talk about the things that I personally have a strong annoyance for. I'm pretty sure you have the same annoyance, too. Um, We're all human. So let's just get right into it. All right. Annoyance. Well, pet peeve number one is people who chew with their mouths open. Like, seriously, where the fuck do you get off? Like, that's just so disgusting. That is just rank. I mean, are you a fucking cow? Like, close your mouth. Like, nobody wants to hear you breathing. Like, are you dying? Like, what is what is what is going on? Like, why are you opening your mouth, chewing at the same time? It's like you have a special award to do that. Like, you have to be some type of special to be chewing with your mouth. So, like, I get it. My dad is old as dirt. I mean, he was in preschool with Jesus. Like, he's freaking old. He was there when the land before time was even created. That's just how old my dad is. So he has an excuse. But anybody else, not tolerable. Just fucking cut it out. Number two, people who decide they want to drive in the passing lane. Like, how the hell did you get your driver's license? Because clearly, the second lane or the one furthest to the freaking left is for you to pass. Then move, not pass and stay there and sightsee and make go down memory lane with your significant other and you have a whole freaking stockpile of people behind you ready to cuss you out and play mario kart throw turtle shells at you like seriously how do you no just move over stop clogging up traffic your worst drivers ever please stop in delaware especially you guys suck just just stop don't drive just stay home just don't don't even look at your car keys just leave it there don't 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 do it Number three, number three, which is not number three, three. is McDonald's and their freaking ice cream machine. (laughs) Christ, sorry, Lord, don't strike me down. I'm just, it's hurting my soul, my spirit to convey this message to people who want to go to McDonald's and enjoy a freaking McFlurry or whatever freaking Cadbury, whatever the delicious frosted delight that they want to consume they can't even get to because oh lo and behold mcdonald's want to be freaking special and not take it off their menu and have people second guessing themselves saying oh well i saw it and then deal with rude ass bonquisha at the fucking drive through window who doesn't even know how to fucking work the machine like yes bonquisha i know it doesn't work but why is it still up there why are you guys displaying this like why you get attitude with me having an attitude that you don't have something that you knew you didn't have like don't Oh, don't do that. Just it's just it's like a chain of events of fuckery going through McDonald's. I don't know who the PR person is. I don't know who's in charge of their menu special. But they need to be like Wawa and just take it off there if they're not gonna provide it. Be smart about it. Common sense, but common sense is so common. So it's just whatever. Number four is the public restrooms and restrooms at work or any type of facility that has a urinal place for people to secrete their excessiveness. Um, They're fucking disgusting, period, period. They're just, just, no, absolutely not. I know we gotta go, but some of you lack home training and need to just not use a bathroom. Just wait till you go home on your lunch break. Wait till the end of the day. Hell, I don't care what you do. Pee in a cup for all I care. Don't go to the bathroom pissing all over the floor and there's just poop everywhere and it stank and I'm dying from have to breathe through my nose just to survive through that. And it sucks too, me being fucking 300 feet tall going into the bathroom using a urinal. I have to look at the next person peeing it's like i have to go in the stall like i can't stand next to somebody because i get uncomfortable it's just my introvert thing and by the way if you don't know what introvert extrovert is i highly encourage you to go read into that um but yeah me being an introvert uh, my personal space boundaries like i don't like saying hey what's up bro while i'm taking a leak um i rather just do my deal and get the hell out and not make a social hazard I don't know how freaking females do that. I think they have rap battles in the bathroom. I really do think that they have rap battles in the bathroom. Or they just, they just do everything in above. Like women can do that. They're just, they're not built like men. We're not supposed to bond in the bathroom. That's something you not do is you just go and you get the fuck out. But 
I don't know. It's another story here and there, another time. But it's just, yeah. Bathrooms, no. Tall people, if you feel me, you understand this problem, yes. Leave a comment or whatever. I would love to go in further detail about this and how fucking annoying it is to having to pee. And it's just, it's just a war zone in there. A freaking fecal matter war zone on the toilet bowl. Like, how do you miss that? Like, that, that, why is there, why is there like a million toilet, pe- a roll of toilet paper in the toilet bowl covering your crap? We know it's in there. Like, why is it playing hide and seek? We know it's there. Like, it's there. That's just, no. Oh, yeah. P number five. People who bring their damn children to a rated R movie. Where the hell do you get off? Like, who raised you? Who who thought it would be okay to bring a newly born infant to a rated R movie? Oh, he's only like six inches and six minutes old. He can go see him and not. No, that's that's not what it's there for. And the freaking idiots who took their children to go see Deadpool had a big ass rated R movie on it are the biggest dumbasses out there. I don't care if you're a comic book fan. He even said it. Deadpool said, don't bring your children. Fuck you. Go home. Stop it. That's not what it's there for. Just don't even do it. Just, just, just no. And then I read something about like the mothers of, of, of America trying to boycott or trying to ban Deadpool or get their damn rating down, their rated R rating down to a PG-13. Where the fuck do you get off? Pick up a damn, here's the thing, pick up a damn comic book, one of his comic books for that matter, read it first, and then make a, a publicized decision like, hmm, maybe this isn't for little Johnny, maybe this isn't for little Susie. You ever thought about that? No. Cause you know why? Most of the people who complain about shit don't know what the fuck they're saying half the time. They just complain and try to make their gripings and their their personal morals and their feelings a priority and think it's a a, a freaking uh, one of their uh, a priority. They think it's a, a point. It's not a point. It's an opinion. A point and opinion are two different things. Learn about it. Go back to school. Bazinga, bitch. Number. People who ask for help and then dictate once people get there, I get it. You want shit to be done the correct way, a proper way. You moving in, of course you want people to take care of your shit. You don't want somebody to just body slam your damn couch down on the ground or your precious china you got from your dead grandmother, throw it like it's a fucking frisbee. We get it. But don't ask for my help and then you start going Adolf Hitler on me and then you don't, you stop helping me and you start pointing like I'm a fucking slave, which by the color of my damn skin, that shit's been over for a fucking century, okay? Learn about it, read it, weep, it's not about to happen. Not 12 days of slave up in this bitch, no. Hire me for later. Out your damn mind. But yeah, don't dictate help. If you're gonna help, do it kinda nicely, but not nicely where you're trying people get over on you and be like, oh, we're just gonna take a break, no. Hold your ground, it's your shit, but help the fuck out and shut the fuck up. I, I know you're trying to get your stuff where it's supposed to be, but you just, you gotta loosen off the reins. You just you gotta get off. You just gotta stop. No, don't do that. And if you're old, old people do this all the time. My dad's a prime example. Stubborn, unretired, but you just you know, you don't talk to people when you're trying to help you. That makes them not want to help you. FYI, in later. So if you ask somebody, oh, I need your help moving. Yeah, remember last time I helped you? You fucked me over by yelling at me trying to move your shit upstairs and move your goddamn devil cat? No, absolutely the fuck not. Go away. Shoot. Stop. Just no. Number seven. Seven, seven, seven. Lucky number seven. Not really. Are people who are on their phone at the fucking grocery store. Just no. That's why we write shit down. That's why we have a plan when we go and execute it. It's not fucking a family outing where you just go in and just clog up the damn aisles of people trying to get their shit and get the fuck out. No. Go in there with a plan and just do it. There's no need to be on your phone cussing out your wife or your husband who forgot to take out something for... Nobody wants to hear your personal problems. Nobody does. I don't. I... I don't go to the store for my damn personal problems. That sounds like a gripe's there too. And if you're just gonna do that, be courteous. Don't be loud and obnoxious. That's just really fucked up to people who are just trying to 
just get out and do what they're supposed to be doing. And another thing about that too, I, I don't like about grocery shopping, it's just everybody goes down the aisle. Like, don't you have, don't you remember what the fuck you have in your house? You didn't just wake up and say, oh my God, I need paprika. No, bitch, you already have it. Why are you getting too every fucking thing? You're not fucking crazy. People are just crazy. It's not, or maybe it's just me. I, I think I'm crazy. I think I'm an alien some days, but you know, it's, it's whatever. We're, we're all unique. We, we're all special gifts, you know, special in our own way, but not really. But yeah. Number eight. See? Eight. Almost had it. Almost lost it. Eh? Almost lost it. Number eight. People who get too wild at the club. Uh, I had personally, I'm not one of those people. I'm a very social drinker. I am a very calm person when I do like to turn up, as they say, or turn up. Eh, eh, turn up with this turn up. But um, I'm, I'm pretty calm when I turn up. I drink and I be social. I'm relaxed. I'm calm. Everybody's having a good time. Yeah, yeah. Smile, giggle, dance, and laugh. And move. Like to nitpick and joke with people. You know, you know what I'm saying? But if you're one of those fucking people who can't handle their liquor and like to be loosey goosey and all over the fucking place and just have no consideration for your fucking surroundings, i.e., are too pissed drunk to even know where your left is from your right, don't go to a fucking Especially if you're going in the middle of the fucking ghetto where people do fight outside in the goddamn parking lot and be fucking snatching change and the police be right outside. Don't do that. You don't know who the fuck is around you. Just don't. And me being an accessory to it too, that's another thing you just don't do. Don't add me into shit. If you can't do that, don't do that to me. Just, if you have any respect, but you're drunk, so you lose your respect. But it's it's consideration. Just be considerate of your surroundings. I, I know you're trying to have a good time. You're trying to twerk. You're trying to impress you the fuck bum ass person is next to you. But don't be swinging and thinking everybody's supposed to be fucking the Invisible Man or fucking Mr. Ghost or Mr. Intangible and they can just walk right through you. No, they, you're gonna hit somebody. You're gonna hit the right fucking one, and they're gonna be pissed off and want to fight. And knocking and, and, and bucking on your fucking forehead while my ass is going to fuck home. No. Oh, you're, you're supposed to be riding and dying. You're supposed to be there for me. You're supposed to do, do, do. No, I'm not. I'm riding and dying. I got a job. I got a. I live here. You don't live here. You're a goddamn tourist. You could knock and buck and then go to fuck home and then lie to your fucking friends at work while well, you got a big ass nine in your head. Oh, I walked into a door. Or oh, I fought fucking Sasquatch. No, the fuck you didn't. You hit the right fucking run. And they fucking bopped you, and then that was the fucking it. I fucking, you got beat up by a damn gorilla. How about that? Say that. You got fucking, you got sidetracked. Fucking Donkey Kong happened. Fucking, you fought Chris Brown. Lie. Do whatever the fuck you gotta do. Do that. Number fucking. People who sit next to you with their fucking feet all around you. That pisses me that. Hell off. I get if you can't find a seat and it's hella people in there, like it's a booked appointment and the only seat that's available is the one next to you. But if there's a fucking church row of goddamn empty seats, why in the hell would you sit next to somebody? To make yourself feel safe? I don't know. Me sitting next to somebody I never met does not make me feel no kind of sense. So no word of the sense of safety is anywhere near me. It's not at all. It's not there. It's just the opposite. You could be a sweet old lady, but you can fucking have a damn bazooka under your fucking purse or whatever. Or you could be a little girl and be fucking a jihad and blow me the fuck up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you from a fucking can of paint. I don't know you. You're supposed to be like, oh, uh, it's, it's it's this girl and her, her, her daughter. And the worst part about it is if it's a, a person with their crying ass child i don't i really don't want you sitting next to me why the fuck are you gonna drag me into your shit i don't have the child with you that's not my responsibility don't do that don't do that to me why because we, there's nobody there to talk to and, and if we don't talk to each other then why are you really sitting next to me you're just you're creeping the fuck out no i don't i don't know i don't like that you
absolutely what you don't do. That's like the guy code for going into the urinal and peeing. There's your empty urinals. You go to the one and then some. You just don't go to the one right there. That's how, how fucking inconsiderate can you be? Don't do that to me. Don't bring me into your madness. Now, I'm a random fucking guy. I know random. But you randomly popping your ass right next to me when there's nobody around me, it got me quite fucking suspicious. I done seen some shit. So, don't do that to me. Number nine, absolutely no sing next to nobody when there's seats available all around you. That's just, you're just fucking ridiculous. Damn leper. And lastly, number ten. is when you're trying to argue with somebody, know what the fuck you're talking about, and keeping your opinion and your point separate, don't make your opinion your point. I get that you you have morals and you have a standing on what you're trying to talk about, how you feel, but that's completely different when you're in an argument trying to prove a point and trying to uh, provide facts to enlighten somebody. Every time I argue with somebody, I wanna prove something. I wanna enlighten them, I wanna teach them something not enforce what I believe on them like a fucking devout Christian who's so hell-bent on saying you're going to hell, going to hell, but what about how he's trying to save them? You know what I mean? You don't, if you're trying to, to prove something to somebody, you're not trying to scare them off, you're trying to bring them to a, a, a cause, a, a consensus. You don't want them to be divided, you want them to come, you want them to feel like, okay, I understand you, but I'm trying to make it so you understand where I'm coming from, so we're not at a, at a loss, so we're not at a conflicting point in this. And the reason I say that is this, this whole social injustice shit, the Black Lives Matter, people get shit misconstrued, or misconstrued, sorry, fuck that up, but you know, black people, eh, just kidding. Anyways, but don't try to <clears throat> use your point as a way to make it seem like you're right, you're wrong. Like, no, we're, that's not what we're trying to do. That's far from what anybody wants to do in the argument when they're trying to convey a point. That that's just makes it pointless. Like, I don't argue. I don't like arguing. Honestly, I'd rather punch you in the fucking throat. But me being who I am, I kind of keep that inside. And in my heart of hearts, I know that'd be wrong. I am going to jail or I get shot randomly. But that's me to hear that. But don't argue just to hear yourself be right and try to belittle somebody. That's just, you're just a fucking asshole. You should be cunt punched or fucking one man punched in the fucking moon somewhere. Just don't, don't do that. It's wrong. All the profanity that comes with it, that's just how serious it is that how I get pissed off with this all these shit all these little pet peeves that can be avoided all this can be avoided just use common sense but if you don't use common sense guess what going back to square one I gotta create a whole new fucking list plenty more with that fucking game but yes this is me that's not you learn something but if you don't 